yeah now what you are uh, seeing is uh, the spindle guide uh, seal ring area so this seal ring we need to renew whenever uh, we are doing a exhaust valve overall so for uh, renewing this seal ring we have to uh, check whether we have enough spare or not and uh, the changing procedure is very easy all you need to do is uh, loosen your allen bolts you can see there are uh, four number of allen bolts which is securing the seal rings so you have to loosen it all the four uh, allen keys and ensure you are using correct size of uh, allen key so that you don't damage the screw head and uh, now uh, you can see we have loosened almost uh, all the four uh, allen bolts so after uh, loosening it ensure uh, we are uh, keeping a marking over it so that uh, when you are uh, done with your job and putting back the cover it will be easy for us to put back in place properly so that you don't need to waste time in aligning so just to put a mark so that uh, it will be visible and uh, it will be a easy way to put back in place properly so now we are removing the allen bolts So whenever we are uh, removing the allen bolts, uh, ensure you are securing it properly. And for removing the seal cover, you can see a thread over there which is uh, used for uh, jacking purpose. We just put back the allen bolts on that uh, threads and tighten it. It will act like a jack to remove your uh, seal ring cover. So all you need to do is uh, tighten the allen bolts equally and uh, you can see the cover is coming up seal ring cover is coming up so just remove it like this this is your seal ring cover you can see it and uh, you can see the seal ring so just wipe out any oil or any carbon deposits over the area and you can remove the seal ring it's a teflon ring and the other one is your o-ring so this seal ring contains uh, two rings one will be a teflon the other will be a normal o-ring that is special o-ring which can handle high temperatures so ensure you are uh, using the proper uh, spares so now you all you need to do is uh, clean the o-ring area remove all carbon deposits in the grooves o-ring seat so so this is how we need to remove your uh, seal ring for spindle guide bush so once you removed your uh, seal ring ensure uh, you are cleaning that uh, seat area properly you can use any kind of uh, sharp objects either you can use a screwdriver or a sharpened rod to remove all the carbon deposit which is accumulated in your uh, seal ring seat area here we are using a spanner so that uh, it will remove uh, it will be easy for us to remove the carbons then once you remove that uh, you have to do the buffing inside the spindle guide so that uh, you remove all carbon deposits or any kind of dirt inside that spindle guide area spindle guide bush so what you have to check in this is you have to check for any score mark any damages inside the bush and you have to measure the inner diameter of the bush you can either use your uh, inside micrometer or you can use the caliper like this If the bush 
diameter is uh, according to your manual requirement, then you don't need to change. Uh, presently, this push condition looks very good. It is within the range, so I'm not going to change the push. If you want to change the push, all you need to do is remove this four board and use the mandrel, hit it, and the push will come down. Okay. Uh,